Four is set. The final three, we're still standing. Yes. Today, Agumake, Andrea Carter, I am L. Duncan. Let's start with the first game that we'll see of the night, really between the ultimate dog and the buzzsaw that is South Carolina and NC State. Yeah, we've got to start with NC State because this is a team that has defied all yes. odds to get to this point. They had an up and down season. They were the underdogs in so many situations. Down 10 to Stanford. They end up coming back in that game and it's on the shoulders of Isaiah James. This guard is lights out. Her three point shot is electric. She can get to the rim. She can elevate. She can lead the way because it's her three point shooting. That's the difference. Drea, you said defied odds. How about defying losses because this is the only remaining unbeaten team in college basketball, men's or women's, is because they do it defensively through Camilla Cardoso. By the way, she just declared for the WB she draft. Hey, but she's got congrats. business to handle. I love her back to the basket game, but more importantly, I love how the Gamecocks, if they're not shooting well, they can always rely on their defense, and at the center of that is Camilla. Yeah, okay. Well, the second matchup at 9 oh, p.m. Literally. on Friday fit, pits two national players of the year against each other. Caitlin Clark and Paige Becker is also known as Iowa and UConn. Yeah, and we're Let's start with Paige Beckers because Paige Beckers is the player that people might have forgotten about two seasons ago. Shame she on only them. played 17 games last season. We didn't see her on the court. She is reminding everyone she is her. She is efficient. She can score with her back to the basket. She can put the ball on the floor. She reads the defense. She is a Swiss Army knife and the ultimate leader for Connecticut. Man, this is a matchup of pure buckets and no one better than Caitlin Clark as an understatement for that 41 points, 12 assists. Sheesh. And a, I mean, like, we're all still surprised that they're not sending triple teams, they're not sending the band, marching band, the parents, everyone out there. But she has been playing her best version of, of basketball. It is a master class, and it has been a beauty to watch. This is going to be a beauty to watch. I mean, hello and hold on to your you-know-whats. The final four in Cleveland is set Friday. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern with South Carolina and NC State. And then the nightcap, Iowa and UConn. Settle in, and we'll see you in Cleveland.